We'll see the uh, two songs and a uh, prize yoga. <clears throat> First song we'll sing Jesus loves me in this I know. <clears throat> Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong, they will be destroyed. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. He who died has got to open one. He will wash away my sin. Let a little child come in. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. Loves me still. From a shining throne, comes to watch me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he will stay close beside me all the way. I love him when I'm down, he will take me home. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Praise the Lord. Sing one more song. More about Jesus, old I know. More about Jesus, old I know. More of his grace to can save him for let's see. More of his love to die for me. More, more about Jesus. More, more about Jesus. More of his grace to let's see. More of his love will die for me. More about Jesus, let me love. More of his only being Spirit of God, my teacher be. Showing the things of Christ to me. More, more about Jesus. More more about Jesus. More of his love will die for me. More about Jesus on his throne. Riches in glory all his own. More of his kingdom show. More of his time in praise of peace. 
사태야 목사님 혹시 대표기도 따로 정해 주셨던 분 있나요? 미비 고발의 크리스나 바스 고발의 크리스나 지네 Pastor Kopala Krishna, can you pray for this retreat? No. Um. Ask the pastors who are visible. Yeah, I think he's busy now, so. Pastor Mohan, can, can I request play retreat? Um, can we pass it down with sleep and pray? Ah, to n e s e e Pastor John is. Yeah. Gracious, most loving heavenly Father. So, hello, can you hear me now properly? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, still, there is a double voice. So, Pastor Jotis can mm. pray. Pastor Jotis, can you pray for us? Pray for the representative prayer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's pray. Okay. The voice is okay. Okay. No. Yeah. Let's pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I thank you so much through your lovely Son in the name of Jesus Christ for this wonderful time meeting uh, from different uh, parts as we are your children. And here we are, we came before you to have a good fellowship with your sons and daughters. And Father, here we are waiting for your encouragement speak us encourage us so that we may grow spiritually with a supernaturally and help us understand each word that going to speak holy spirit anoint the preacher who is going to speak and help everyone to understand well and so we may be filled with a great knowledge, understanding, and revelation. And I believe that you will be blessing us abundantly. We thank you so much, Father God. Glorify your name. In Jesus' name, we actually pray. Amen. 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 So, Pastor Satya, we will give a message for this retreat today. <clears throat> oh. 
Um, praise God. Uh, thank you for the opportunity once again. Um, we have been seeing the messages about remnants because we are going to have a remnant day, remnant camp. Today is also a very important uh, message that we need to help the um, remnants understand who they are because many remnants do not know who they are. They think believing God is everything. So it is very important for them to important for them to understand this and only leaders, the pastors who know who they are can help them understand. So it's very important. So who am I? My identity and authority, John chapter one, verse 12 says, it's all who received him to those who believed in his name. He gave the right to become children of God. All who received him, received Jesus Christ to those who believed in his name, in Jesus name. And he gave the right to become children of God. So it is very important uh, to understand the identity and the authority. Okay, now, the identity. The identity is a child of God. You and me are the child of God because we receive Jesus Christ and um, we believe in his name and we became the children of God. Please. Please stop. Okay. Please stop. So the identity is the child of God. We need to help the children understand. Um, The saddest thing that I have seen uh, while I'm here uh, is I met the three different families. Um, the grandma, one of the grandma is a Christian and she married a non-believer. So the non-believer grandpa father raised his children and the children's children as a Hindu. The other person I met is also father is a Christian and mom is a Hindu. And the mom raised the children as a Hindu. And one of my aunt who married to a Brahmin, she also did the same. She did not keep up her faith or know how important it is to give the children who they are. So she let the children grow in the faith of the husband. And the, both the children are grown up now. They are grown up as a Hindus. How sad God would feel when he sees his children lost hold of who they are. So it is important for our leaders to understand who remnants are and who their identity, what their identity is. So in order to relay the right understanding of who the children are, who the remnants are, leaders must know the important things so that we can relay in the right way, we can relay the right thing and the correct understandings. Now we can see Halloween. One of my uh, friend who went to USA, um, the, the husband is an uh, American, so, the daughter, she wore a makeup like a ghost and they were very proud to put it in a Facebook. God's image turned to be something that is God never would like to have. They think it's just fun, but only people with the spiritual eyes can understand there is an unseen world that is exist against the children of God, they try to take the identity. The first thing Satan can take from one person, a believer, is the identity. They celebrated Halloween and they were really having fun, but I feel very sad. Mm -hmm. Many people enjoy changing their identity as something that is disgusting something that is scary, something that really makes other people creepy. 
they think it's fun. No, it's not fun. It is a spiritual problem, mental problem. It is something that is not a normal person would do, but spiritually, uh, the people with the spiritual problems obviously will love to do that because they are not in the control of their own self. Their heart and mind is controlled by the spirit of this world, which is control, controlling every, everyone that is not of Christ. So even the children of God who do not have the proper understanding, this Halloween has gone even to the kindergarten, the children's home and the schools, Christian schools, even the teachers, they think it's fun because they don't know what they are actually facing. So it is very important that we teach our children that you are a child of God. It's incomparable. It's very precious. It's very important for them to understand. Also the culture. One of the evilest culture I met is the Indian culture. I saw a video, like one, one and a half year, one and a half or two years children, twins children, they were pierced in their tongue. They were pierced in their you know, uh, cheek with a rod because the father had prayed to his God when something good happened to them, then he will do that to his children. We should understand that culture is already taken by the evil forces. We need to make our church, our children safer from the culture that has been already modified. It's no more a normal culture. It's an evil culture. We need to teach the children not to bring any culture into the church or adapt anything in their lives. We need to differentiate them that this is what it is. This is not it should be. We need to help them understand there is nothing fun in the spiritual realm. Satan has no mercy. He doesn't see whether baby or adult. For him, he's a murderer. John 8, 44 says he's a murderer. From the beginning, he's been sinning, killing people. He has no mercy. So it is very important that we save our children with their identity. Tell them face to face that you are a child of God. No matter what this world, this culture would bring into our lives as a fun stuff, packed with the fun package, but we should make our children understand that it is not packed with the fun. It is something very evil that would take their you know, identity away from God. It's very important. Okay, so second thing is that we need to teach the children indwelling and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. It's very important that the children know who they are. It's not because of the father or mother is someone great or the family background is rich or poor or whatever. Our true identity becomes something very special when the Holy Spirit indwells in us. Anyone who receives Jesus Christ and believe in his name, then they become the children of God. Once they become the children of God, then we become the indwelling place of the Holy Spirit. First Corinthians 3, 16 says, don't you know that you are you yourself are God's temple and God's spirit lives in you. So the guidance of the Holy Spirit is given as the Holy Spirit indwells within us then the guidance is given to us. It's a very precious thing that this world can never enjoy. Let the children know that you are special because Holy Spirit is in you and he indwells in you. He is there because to guide you in this dark world, to guide you from this you know, uh, uh, world that has been already marred and captured and captivated and slaved by so many things of this world. So the Holy Spirit is there with you so that he will guide you through. We need to teach them the right way that you are a temple of God. You are very precious. 
because not because you are so fair, not because you are so talented, not because of your someone or something about your background, but just because the spirit of God lives in you. God's spirit lives in you. That's why you are so special. You need to teach the children. John chapter 14, 16 to 17 says, and I will ask the father and he will give you the another counselor to be with you forever. The spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him for he lives with you and he will be in you. So the, when the Holy Spirit comes, it's not in like a Old Testament time. He comes and goes depending on your spiritual status. If you sin, he will just, he cannot res, reside on you. He just he will leave. When you keep up your spiritual status, you will keep, uh, you know, be upon you. It's not about that anymore. When you receive Jesus, then you became a temple of God. Then the counselor who is promised to be with us forever, the spirit of truth forever, will live with us forever, will be with us forever. So that's the promise that the children, the remnants have received. We need to tell the children, if, even if you do, even if you unknowingly do the sin or you know, mistakenly do the things, never forget that Holy Spirit is in you. We should not grieve, so we should be very careful with the one that has, uh, no, uh, is in us. So we need to help the children understand. So they are more careful than the adults. They all, when they know how to respect, they really respect. So all we have to do is to teach them that who they are. The third one is answer to prayer. We need to teach the children that you receive the answers. You receive the answers. Um, there is no, way that you cannot receive answer. We also need to teach them that there are three answers. Yes is the most loving answer everybody likes. Yes is the most loving. But we also need to teach the children no is also beautiful answer. Why? Because God knows why he said no to it. Because Everything works for good to those who love God. For good, he said no. For good, he says wait. Sometimes it's hard to understand for the children to receive the answer of no, but we need to help them understand. Yes, as equal as, you know, no. When it comes to the answers from heaven, we need to help them understand. So John chapter 14, 14 says, you may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. We need to help the children what to ask. We need to shape them how to ask. It's very important. So there is no way that the children of God, the remnants of God, stop receiving the answers. The assurance of answers is always with them. The assurance to the prayer is always with so that's the identity and the authority that God has given as a children of God. We need to help them understand this truth, that you will always get answer from our Father. And now, until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. So as we said, it's important that what the children must ask we must help them understand and shape their prayer, right? So it will be very easy for them. Otherwise, they will be just praying for the things that is already promised to give, to receive. Okay. <clears throat> um, most of the time, we need to understand what type of prayer that children need to do. God has promised to give everything for this world. There is no problem in that. Something beyond, something beyond that they need to ask. Also God says, Jeremiah chapter 33, 33 says, call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. 
uh, most of the times children are uh, tend to ask for the earthly things the things that they know, things that they want. Uh, so we need to help them understand that we are someone that needs to understand what we are to ask. The prayer, not of this world, but of something that is above. So also we need to help them understand that you are to call God every time. We are to call God every time. The answer is always available. Also, we need to teach them that Something that is great and unsearchable thing that we do not know will be always taught from God when we call upon him. So uh, with the blessing of calling upon God, uh, the children receive a greater blessing. Okay, now, um, the authority, the authority and the um, uh, ministering spirits. So as we see that... Our authority comes from heaven through the um, greater blessing through Jesus Christ. So the one of the greatest greatest uh, blessing is also the ministering spirits and angels. Uh, children, most of the time they believe in the ghost, the devil, or you know whatever the dark world belongs. But they mostly don't belong, don't believe uh, ministering the, the angels. Uh, we need to teach them more about angels than about ghosts or anything else, because uh, they are um, they are the one that will be who will be with us um, as a background of heaven. So it's very important for the children to know about the ministering spirits, angels. That Hebrew one fourteen says are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation. So it is very important, uh, the children of God, the remnants to know that they are, there are angels given by God to serve us. Also Luke chapter 10, 19 says, I've given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. So God not only given authority um, over the angels, also God has given authority over the forces of darkness to be bound, to be bound. So there is no way that forces of darkness can overtake us because when a person who knows the identity and authority that is given in Jesus Christ, Satan or the forces of darkness will never overcome them. So we need to make the children know not to afraid of anything darkness, anything ghostly, anything creepy, anything anything that is belo that belongs to the world, the dark world. Teach them that you have the power over them. You have the power power to trample over them. You are you are given the power to overcome all the powers of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Make them understand that nothing will harm you. Teach them strongly that nothing will harm them when they know who they are. And the last one is the um, citizenship of heaven. Uh, most of the time, uh, I feel like a, a lot of struggles with the uh, children because they only stuck between the uh, understanding of, uh, you know, immature understanding. So it is very important for us to help them understand that we don't belong to this world, even though we live in this world uh, with a physical body, but we are not we are not belonging in this world. We belong to the you know to heaven. We have the citizenship of heaven. So um, it is very important for them to understand that we are not we even though we live in this world, but we are not stuck in this world, or we are not just going to live forever on this earth. So children should know the importance of who they belong to, where they belong to. So our identity and authority depends on where we belong to. So that's why um, when we emphasize on heaven, then they will understand the heaven, the heaven becomes our background, right? It's very important. Uh, so um, uh, for the children to understand that we belong to heaven.
and our our authority identity you know comes from there also um we need to tell the we need to teach the remnants about the world evangelization um never to be stuck within the frameworks of what mom and dad or someone uh, someone uh, make them to be or be like this or you know or whatever they teach so we need to teach the children to completely be um completely be uh separated from people also from from other things uh, to understand the importance of world evangelization whatever they do whatever they do they will always be successful why because god is with them because of their identity and the authority so wherever they go no matter what they take they will always be successful so it's very important uh, so um in um in a world like this we need to uh, help them to understand that we don't need the power of this world we don't need need the position of this world we don't need anything of this world that will make you who you are because they are not made they are not meant to be make who you are who you are becomes when you receive the true strength and the power of the holy spirit then the holy spirit makes everything possible the the holy spirit makes and gives us the strength to overcome this world and do the right thing in accordance with the scripture the word of god so it is very important for them to understand and it is also important that they should understand that they are to be a witness of this world we don't live like this non believers they struggle for the position they struggle for the uh, power they struggle for everything almost these blessings are already given to us we don't need to struggle so we are to be evidence witness of god so um just a moment Okay. Okay, so I think I opened it. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so um would like to uh or again uh briefly so that uh i could able to highlight the things okay number 1 when we talk about identity identity of god the child of god is the first thing that we need to help the children understand so there are so many things given by god but among them is the most precious is the god given identity and authority so nothing else we should emphasize on the children it is the identity and the authority as who they are nothing is comparable to this greatest blessing that god has given to us so no position no power no degree whatever in this world that can offer to make you who who you are when you say oh my son is a doctor oh something so these sounds this uh, power and position these are nothing to compare you know when it it comes about the god given identity and authority uh it is the greatest blessing that we need to tell the children also um we need to teach the value of being temple of god we need to teach the value of being a temple of god 
and the precious Holy Spirit made his indwelling in us. The Holy Spirit that created everything by his word indwelling in us. So how precious we are. We need to teach the children remnants that we are very special, not because of something else, but because we are the temple of God and the Holy Spirit dwelling in us. So that's why we are so special. Also, the guidance of the Holy Spirit is the greatest way. The greatest way that God has given to us is the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We cannot be with the remnants always. That's true, right? We cannot be with the children, our children always, but <clears throat> but Holy Spirit can. That's why we need to uh, ask the children to be guided by the Holy Spirit. Because what I think is right, I can guide them, guide my children, but not always what I think would be right as a parent. So it is important that we leave the children, the remnants, our church, uh, not children, in the guidance of the Holy Spirit. That is the greatest way that the, whole, uh, the Father has given to us as a gift. Um, when they know or when we teach them who they are and whatever they do, they will succeed. Just like Joseph. Joseph was a slave. And Joseph was, um, obviously, he has nobody there in Egypt. He, wasn't, he was having nobody. He was completely nothing. But when he knows who he is, his identity and authority, and then he started living in that, when he started enjoying that, even the slavery becomes greatest blessing. So it is not about what measure they take. It is not about sometimes when people, when the when the you know students fail in the neat exam to be a doctor, they kill themselves, right? Please teach your remnants and the church members and the you know children in the church. Whatever major they will take, they will succeed because that is the greatest blessing that is that that is given in Christ already. Already, we can we can never be failing. The world will fail, but we will never fail. Encourage the children and the remnants that no matter what department they will go, they will always get success. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is with us to guide us, no matter what major or what department we take. So it is very important. Um, so uh, no worries and no scars could harm them. So you can be very sure of that. Also, um, teach the children not to be deceived by people or the situation. Teach them that they are not the people are not to you know guide us, nor the situation that will define who they are. It is important that who they are is understood by the guidance of the Holy Spirit, right? Because we are we are given greater guidance for the highest place. A summit we call a summit. To become a summit, right? We are guided by the Holy Spirit. We need to teach the remnants. You are not guided by the pastor, nor by any people, right? Or any by any situation. I'm forced to be like this because of my situation. No, you should be guided by the Holy Spirit to be a submit to the highest places. This is God-given covenant to everyone that believes in Jesus Christ. So this is why we should teach our remnants to restore them from the childhood. They need to be restoring their identity and authority from the childhood. Jewish parents teach their children that they are bound to be in the highest positions and others, others are to serve them. So also high caste teach them, right? You are, you are to be served. Other people are slave to you. Is this the way God teaches? Or can we teach the same thing to the remnants? No, it is something very different. John 14, 14, you may ask for anything in my name and I will do it. Teach the children what is spiritual war. We don't need to ask everything because God already promised to give for food, for stay, for living, for whatever. Teach the children what is spiritual war, battle. 
the unseen world that exists to seize the children's spirit, uh, the future. There are so many children are without without future. You know, Indian Indian situation now. Drugs, addiction, so many things. They don't have future. Who is doing that? Spiritual things, spiritual beings, the forces of darkness. So teach the remnants what is spiritual battle, war. Ask them to ask for the victory that is given over the spiritual battle. That's the real prayer. Ask the, ask the children and emphasize on them that what is spiritual battle and why we need to be taking over, getting the victory over them, asking God for the victory. Teach them the right prayer. Shaping the prayer from the childhood is very important. Let them not ask for a chocolate, but for greater things, the spiritual things. Before even they know what a spiritual enemy has begun, his strategies to destroy them. Spiritual problem begins from the early childhood. Seriously. So it is very important for the children, before they get into trouble, you need to teach them. You need to teach them. The church must teach the remnants that something is waiting, awaiting outside. So that's why Jewish people, when they send the kids, kids, you know, to prepare them in the before the age of schooling, they teach everything about the Bible. Torah is being taught before seven years. The five books, it was, it is taught because they know so that my son or daughter can face this world. So we need to teach about the spiritual realm, that there is an enemy out there that we don't need to worry about. Because when we know the identity and authority, that we don't need to worry about. Now, until now you have not asked for anything in my name, ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Matthew 6.31 says, do not worry, do not keep saying what will we eat or what will we drink or what will we wear. The people who do not know God are looking for all these things. Your father, Jesus said, Jesus said, your father in heaven knows you need all those things, all these things. Please, let's teach our remnants that our father knows all that we need. So we need to teach them to pray about everything. But it doesn't mean that what we should not pray on what we should pray. We need to shape their prayers. We, know, we should not pray for the prayer of the world or the people that do not know God. Teach them that. Also, Jeremiah 33, the call to me, right? Colossians 3, 1, 2 says, if you, if then you have been raised with Christ, keep looking for the good things of heaven. This is where Christ is seated on the right side of God. Keep our minds thinking about things in heaven. Do not think about things on earth. Teach the remnants that holding on to the earthly things at the same time, Seeking to experience heavenly things are not possible. Remnants holding onto the earthly things at the same time want to enjoy, experience heavenly things is not possible. Teach them straightly. Teach them to let off the things of this earth and enjoy the identity and the authority. That's where they will really encounter. Again, the example of Joseph. Nothing was with him. He started enjoying with whatever he had, he became a summit. How? The guidance of the Holy Spirit. God was with him even in the prison. God was with him wherever he was. God blessed him whatever he, he was doing. That is the greatest blessing that we have. So looking for the good, thing, good things of heaven. Not holding on to those earthly things. Also, um, teach them about the angels in a way that they will understand with the example of Second, Second Kings chapter 6, verse 17. When Elisha and uh, his servant were there and uh, a greater enemy has surrounded them. And Elisha was cool. Why he was cool? 
he knows the spiritual realm. He knows who is with them. He knows everything that is in the spiritual realm. But the servant did not. So Elisha prayed, open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then, he, then the Lord opened the servant's eyes. He looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Right? Bible says in Hebrew 1.14, it says there are ministering spirits that, uh, you know, is for those who will inherit the salvation. How will we know? Then we know through 2 Kings 6.17. That there were, you know, angels full of, you know, horses and the chariots. It's, you know, it's very important to give them the examples so that they will understand. Teach the remnants that we have gotten, what we have gotten is more than that of this world. Teach them that we have unlimited, unstoppable background of heaven. Nobody can stop them. Nobody can do anything. Unstoppable. We have the key to unlock what is it? Prayer. We are given the blessing of prayer. Anytime we pray, heaven responds, heaven answers, God answers. That is the true identity as who we are. So we need to teach the children to pray and the importance of who we are and what is given to us as the authority. And we are given authority over angels, right? Also, the, also um, Luke chapter 10, 19, it says, I have given you the authority to trample almost of, of everything and overcome all the powers. And he makes sure, Jesus makes sure, saying, nothing will harm you. So teach the remnants about the value of the identity and authority as the children of God. We need to teach them that there is a value. There is a value in the identity and authority of God. Teach them to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit does not come and go, but lives forever. It is not compatible to, to the power and the position that this world offer. So being filled with the Holy Spirit, we need to teach them how. Not to make a group and pray and receive the Holy Spirit. No, when you receive Jesus Christ and believe in his name, then you are already became an indwelling place of the Holy Spirit. He's in you. So it is very important that they be corrected, not to think about the Holy Spirit uh, uh, as a person that lives in heaven far beyond, right? We need to help them understand that he is in you, he is in me. He will never go. He made his indwelling in us. So he is with us, why? That's why Satan will never overcome us because of the Holy Spirit indwelling in us. We need to also help them understand the importance of who we are, that we don't belong to this earth, we belong to heaven. The world evangelization about this, so we need to help them understand in the flow of the Holy Spirit. Not only once received and just forgot everything, it is important that we be in the flow of the Holy Spirit. There is a flow being in the Holy Spirit by the strength of the Holy Spirit. In the flow of the Holy Spirit, by the strength of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so we, of course, we need lots of power in, in this world. But the most important thing is the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So we need to teach the remnants that to experience the work of the Holy Spirit. Is there anything safer than this? Nothing. Nothing like this is safe. On this basis, every remnant must start their spiritual life. So it is very important that uh, we teach the remnants not to seek anything that this world seeks. People go and look for some other things so that they can ask for their future. You know, so many things. There are so many things. And they unknowingly let the devil possess the children. They don't know but they do allow the evil spirit to possess, right? The evil comes even if you don't ask him to come. If you just enter into his counsel, that's enough. He already possessed you. But the Holy Spirit, but Jesus Christ, he knocks at our door. So the difference between the things we need to help the remnants to understand. 
So we are for the world evangelization, not for just living, eating and, you know, doing the things. Animals will do the same. Animals will perfectly do the same. So also the world people, they, they look and hunt for the better life, hunt for success, hunt for being a better people. We do not need to teach these things to the children. We are for the summit, the highest places. So when they know who they are, they will enjoy. They don't need, they will not struggle. And the enemy will be away from them. Make sure our children and the remnants of the church and their future is safe. As you are a leader and I'm a leader, we need to make our church safe and the you know children's future safer. May God continue to bless us. And uh, as you listen to this, uh, let's continue to pray for our remnants because um, it is certainly not in the world that is safe for the remnants and the children that we have. Um, so it is very important that we give them enough teachings about who they are so that before they reach the world and they know who they are, they can handle everything ca carefully. May God bless us. Amen. Amen. And really thank you for giving message. So let us forum together. So Pastor Simon, can you give from first with this message? Yes. Thank you, Pastor Satya, for today's message. Uh, in, today, we learned who am I. Especially, uh, we are uh, having a pre-camp messages. Means, uh, in this month, 9th, 10th, and 11th, we have uh, camp training for the remnants. So, this message is really an uh, important one. We have to understand our uh, identity and authority in uh, the gospel, in Christ. So as uh, Pastor Satya was explaining about uh, our identity and uh, our authority, as we understand our identity and authority, uh, it's important if we understand this thoroughly, then uh, we can relay this one to our uh, children and our uh, Sunday school children in the uh, church. Uh, this uh, seven points really important one and we need to imprint this one in children. Means, uh, uh, children uh, should not shake. They should not waver in the, sp in the, in the faith. If we strongly imprint that once they accept Jesus and they will become the child of God, and uh, the Holy Spirit will indwell in them. And uh, whenever they pray, surely God will answer. So since uh, they become the child of God, surely the status, the status as a child of God will never be changed uh, once if uh, they, he accepts Christ and uh, lives for him. And uh, immediately the Holy Spirit will indwell. Not only that, and the Holy Spirit will guide to the saved child. And uh, the answer surely will come. Uh, she was explaining about this with the scriptures. Jesus himself said, ask unto me and I will give. Whatever you ask in my name, that will be given to you. So that is the right, right of a child of God. And uh, we see the authority. Uh, of a child of God. Since we become the children of God, God's angels will come and protect us. God's angel will guard our lives. And uh, the forces of darkness will be crumbled down. Wherever a child of God goes, the power of the darkness will be broken and we will overcome on the evil forces. And uh, we have to understand that we have the citizenship in heaven. So surely God will, uh, God and heaven is the background of a child of God. 
while they live on this earth and while they depart from this earth heaven is our sure background so we need to just make our children to be sure about this uh, facts and then the purpose of our children why they need to live on this earth is to do the world evangelism they have to be the witnesses for the next generation so these are the almost seven uh, blessings of a child of god that we understood and uh, first we have to understand this and we have to imprint this in our hearts and uh, we have to root in these facts and then uh, it will become our nature once we once this gospel becomes our nature and uh, really the doors of evangelism will be opened and uh, we have to focus on the children because they are the next generation leaders and children grow very fast if we don't imprint with this truth this gospel uh, they will be imprinted with so many worldly things and uh, if they grow up like this as she was explaining about the halloween day uh, yesterday i also saw that uh, uh, news in uh, south korea almost uh, 150 plus uh, children mainly they died because of the uh, the celebration and uh, they had stamped on each other and uh, many youths many children died uh, two days back so uh, what i mean to say is if we don't guide our people if we don't just uh, relay this uh, uh, true gospel to our children uh, surely they will be imprinted with so many other things see in the schools also when when we think what they are learning in the schools also they are mostly they are learning uh, the physical things and uh, which are not the truth and uh, only in the house in the church only they will understand they will learn the gospel about christ if we don't do that then uh, uh, where they will learn this gospel so let's focus on uh, the children and relay this gospel thank you Thank you for giving your forum. Um, Pastor Jaya Babu, can you forum for a message? Thank you, brother. Thank you, Father. Sir. Give me a good opportunity to share my opinion. Uh, thank you, sir, sir, Pastor Sacha Daniel. Uh, today, really, so many areas, they are identifying changing. They are identifying changing, so especially Uh, among the pastors also among the pastors also identity change so beginning in the beginning it is a good but uh, slowly when the years are going automatically their identity also changing so uh, that's a really we need to understand what kind of identity what kind of a culture it is a uh, ruling uh, that we have to understand uh, i understood that and the second thing is so even the jewish people while they are uh, childhood i so Uh, they taught their parents taught uh, thora uh, even before 6 years and before 12 years so when they got a uh, 20 years old they have a complete uh, idea about this uh, biblical ways but even uh, in our when we compare with the uh, indians and uh, especially myself also so we have a great, we should have a good burden for these children otherwise even our people don't know even uh, what is the books names also if you if we ask Young people in India, so even they don't know even books names also you know, from the Bible. So likewise, they don't have any idea. So when they don't have idea about the Bible, so automatically, so they are away from the presence of God. That we have to understand. Uh, and third one is uh, the last and final one is the guidance also very important. So really, uh, I I like one special word. So sister used one special word. So some people are. giving guidance even pastors also from their own experiences the own experiences they have some experience though that is nothing in front of the holy spirit so the, that's we have to remember and we should not give any guidance of our own experience we need to give we need to ask only guidance from the holy spirit so that's very uh, attractive this word and uh, one more uh, word evidence and witness and the last point the world evangelism So evidence and witness. Really, for what purpose we need to give a witness? 
So there is evidence that is the strength to us. It is not only imagine. It is not imagine. It is really evident. There is evidence. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the best evidence in this world. So that's the reason we should be the church should give a great witness to this world. So thank you once again, uh, uh, Sister. Uh, remind the responsibility of the pastor and church also. Thank you very much. Thank you for your forum. And Pastor Timothy, can you give forum with this message? Yes, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, really, it was very blessing. And uh, since uh, we, since uh, I uh, do ministry among the children, it was very much useful uh, teaching today. It was. Uh, so what I was uh, thinking, uh, see, in the child age, uh, we where if we won't teach the Bible, if you won't teach the word of God, if you won't teach that if they, who we are, who children are, so they may change the track and go away from God. So this is the important um, teaching today. It was identity. So and the authority which we have and who we are and who am I. So every remnant and every children should know that who they are. So it was very much, uh, uh, so it is encouraging the children and knowing that children are belongs to God and uh, they are the temple of God and uh, they have the authority over the forces of darkness and, uh, and uh, we should make the children to understand the things, uh, the no arm shall, uh, no arm, uh, no things will not harm anything and God is always with them and we are we are making them to grow in uh, in the word of God and uh, children should uh, know that they are belongs to uh, heaven and uh, we are belongs to heaven so they the children should grow in that faith and uh, they should know that God is always uh, listening to our prayers and they should trust always God and they should always keep on praying to God. And uh, they should be, no, no, they should be uh, witness. They should uh, be always being guide, uh, guidance by the Holy Spirit. And uh, this is what we have to teach. And uh, really, it was very good uh, teaching today. And uh, it was very nice. And it is very useful to me and to our uh, children, which as a uh, ML Sula, I, I learned. And I'm going to teach this to our children. And what I have to teach, I got the uh, uh, things today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Timothy. Uh, Pastor John Yesterday, can you give forum? Thank you, Pastor Pat, for giving this time to me. So I'm so happy to join in this class and listen to the word from Pastor Satya Daniel. So, from this uh, class, I have learned that uh, three things we must need to imprint on our children's life. Uh, the three things is while they are growing up, we need to teach them and we, we need to imprint these things on their lives. Identity, authority, and the purpose of their lives. So when they know their identity, they behave. And when they know their authority, uh, they can use. And, and, they, and if they know their duty or purpose, they can do their duty or, or their purpose in their lives. So in India, usually you say, only mother knows. Uh, if mother says to her children that he is your father, from then onwards, children used to call him father. And whatever the whatever the need they have, they go to their their father and they ask, Father, we need this and we need that. Likewise, from childhood, if we can teach and imprint that God is their father, spiritual father, even if they grown older, they will not forget God and they will not go away from God. So we need to imprint this, uh, their identity in children. Most of the children, they doesn't know what is their identity. 
if if we ask who are you uh, there there was a funny game uh, in childhood we used to play people used to ask who are you they used to say my name is john wesley not john wesley who are you who are you who are you so if we can uh, give them perfect example or perfect uh, uh, identity who they are they will hold on to it and and by holding on to the true identity they will use their authority actually god has given us great authorities to us to his children uh, satya daniel uh, pastor has addressed most of the authorities we have the authority of uh, answer to our prayers we have the authorities of authority of uh, guiding by the angels or protection from the angels we have the authority uh, uh, to do the evangelism and uh, we have authority on scorpions and snakes and evil powers and darknesses forces we have we have great authorities that god has given us so we need to give this authorities to the children see uh, one thing uh, i'm just remembering that if uh, if children's parents uh, parent is a police officer the children also behaves like police hey my father is police officer like that he behaves so uh, if we can uh, imprint that uh, our father is heavenly father and he he can give us anything whatever we ask in his name if, if these things are imprinted in the lives of children they pray and they get whatever they need from god and they also be wonderful weapons for the expansion of god's kingdom the, the vital thing that we have to do is world evangelism it is not possible only through us but it it should go beyond generations and generations it should draw, it should pass to generation and generation so we should teach the vital role that they have to do is evangelism not police officer not doctor not any any other duties or jobs that that this world contains but the very duty that they have to do is world evangelism actually when i was in when i go to school people used to ask us what you will become when you grow old people used to say uh, i will become police officer i will become doctor but when they ask me what you will become when when you grow old i used to say from my childhood onwards i will become pastor i from i don't know from where i got this mindset or uh, my my father brought up me like this. my father used to tell you have to do the god's ministry when you grow you are been uh, submitted to god you are an Uh, you have you have been given to god you are not of ours you are to god you have to do god's ministry so from my childhood i have this thing in my mind that i have to do god's ministry my life is for god my body is for god uh, my entire thing whatever i have is god's so i have to do god's ministry i have i had this mind since my childhood and i am happy that when i grown old i am now uh, uh, particular i am now 27 years old so uh, what is my mind is i am for god i have to do god's ministry even if i go older also this will not go away from me because it is been imprinted in me that i am for god i have to do god's ministry i am for world evangelism so it will not go anywhere from me because uh, the holy spirit god is guiding me so thank you pastor satya for giving wonderful uh, uh, points what we have to teach for our coming generations thank you everyone for patiently listening to me thank you so much thank you for giving for pastor john westerly and pastor krishna can you give for him with message uh, thank you pastor park uh, giving this opportunity and so pastor satya daniel uh, the message you brought in a wonderful way Uh, since uh, last uh, uh, message onwards last message also you focusing on especially emphasizing on the children ministry and what we have to teach and uh, how we have to train them where we have to focus especially in the children ministry last time also shared this message i remember and this time also you focusing on the especially children ministry how we have to train them many things you have touched and many things you covered from according to the bible i don't want to focus all those things so what i heard from you from this message what god spoke through you just uh, you mentioned some point especially what i learned from your message from the god 
uh, the marriage is non believer married a believer believer man married unbeliever so the way they grown up the children is very tragic and also you have given one example from your friend's life that's following the old tradition just they are imitating the old a system how they portrayed themselves and the put their pics in the poor facebooks all those things we have mentioned that and uh, that thing also is very important as the christians how we are training how you are giving our children is very important so you mentioned many things especially for the teaching of the children and so apart from that just i want to uh, uh, i learned what i spoke and what i poke in my heart while you were mentioning these words so that thing is the character with the competency the while teaching the children which may be torah we have seen from the old testament and still there is a habit in israel uh, since their childhood the parents are always uh, spoke in their homes uh, that is like a torah to uh, ringing in their minds and ringing in their ears always remember the the god's words and they totally depends on the god and apart from that the emphasizing on the uh, uh, these things especially the scriptures and we have to teach the children the character with the competency actions along with the the word so actions also very very important you also mentioned one thing one neat exam you mentioned when they are uh, they think is to kill themselves and they want to quit from their lives neat exam is a very precious exam in india to become a doctor especially they are uh, children especially the teenagers running for that to become a doctor is a very passionate for the many people in india is one of the dominant profession in india not only in india and entire the world as when they are not competent enough they want to kill themselves because they don't know who is their god yes uh, we have to teach them at the same time we have to teach them at the same time we have to teach our children i learned from one of the profession as one of the very uh, professional personality in india a leading person he said that as a christians we have to show and we have to teach at the same time we have to act actions also very very important so actions with the character character with the competency so when you are not competent enough so nobody will accept us nobody will ready to listen us nobody to ready to accept us and nobody to uh, ready to come to us so we should show the our character with the scriptures we have to show our attributes with the scriptures uh we have to imitate jesus christ through the scriptures at the same time you have to competent enough and competent enough uh to show the excellency in our studies maybe in our profession maybe whatever we are doing then definitely uh, we will win the uh, people for the christ especially we will imprint uh, the our uh, exemplary life in their minds and hearts and souls uh, thank you so much uh, giving this opportunity and thank you so much for again emphasizing on the uh, teaching of the children the the heart you have for them thank you so much and thank you so much for entire team and god bless your entire team and god bless this forum thank you thank you giving for forum pastor krishna and pastor mohan can you give forum please Pastor Man, you are mute. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, uh, given this wonderful opportunity today. Uh, I am thankful to the Pastor Park and uh, Pastor Sachcha Daniel and uh, Pastor Hinjin and uh, Pastor Simon Brother. Really, today uh, this is a challenging, challenging for. Uh, not only for the next generation first of all we have to check ourselves if what is shared now so who am i what is my identity and what is my authority first of all i have applied myself today what satya daniel was shared so today i was tested myself really sometimes we are doing the ministry and we are very busy in our ministry but sometimes we are forgetting who are they who am i So, but today I explained very nicely so what is my identity and what is the i authority really my identity i was uh, proudly i am saying i left everything and following the jesus christ and uh, 
uh, we are sharing the word of God, uh, thousand, in between of the thousands of the children. So what is my identity was, I am the first identity, is, I am the children of God. Children of God. Really, uh, John chapter 1, 12 shared, so how many people have accepted him? He's given authority as the children of the God. So not only that one, and uh, inwilling and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So uh, uh, there also is uh, explained one small example, that is the Joseph life story. He was living in the Egypt country. He's living as a slave. Many people uh, rejected him, but uh, his identity was the God identity. He was secured his holiness. And uh, the third one is the answer to prayer. Uh, that is the answer. You may ask me for anything in his name. He is ready to provide to us. Already we saw in the Old Testament and New Testament many peoples. I also prayed. I received the many things. Yes, to whom I am following, my identity was my God is the answer, prayer answer God. And also uh, uh, the next one is the shared the example. Good one is the we are not teaching our children not for the chocolate or not for the small things. We have to teach our children. So uh, neat exam, how is that one? Our children must be in the higher stage of the countries. So John chapter shared that one. So you have to teach. And until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. So we can't be able to get anything from the God. And the God is with you, the Joseph. And uh, second one is, who am I is the authority? God given authority to us. First one is the uh, ministering spirit angels. Yes, uh, one example shared very nicely. When the uh, soldiers and enemies are surrounded to the Elisha, so God prayed, God opened to this person eyes. So immediately God opened his eyes. So you will see the who will inherit salvation. And uh, he looked here and he saw the hills and uh, surrounded and also the chariots of the fights surrounded the that prophet. Really, and the second one is the forces of the darkness bound. So uh, God telling to us in the Luke chapter 10th and 19th verse, I have given authority to overcome all the power. Nothing will be harmful to us. Really, that is our uh, uh, authority. And not only that one, we have to, whenever we are go, wherever we go, that is our, we are the, remember one thing, we, our citizenship is in the heaven, not on the earth. Really many times, uh, uh, many pastors are, they're forgetting their authority. Where is that one? There many people sir, are early morning to midnight, they're doing the hard work for the, for the uh, earning the money and uh, developing the, the church and something, but not that one. Our heavenly ship is, that is souls, souls to uh, get the souls for the God. Give the, share the word of God and give the baptism them. Uh, so that one always you remember and follow the word of God. That is a, you will never forget our citizenship is in the heaven. And uh, one thing, our goal was the world evangelism, world evangelism. So not only the one area, not only the one village, world. So uh, when Jesus Christ was going to the heaven, he told his disciples, uh, uh, Matthew chapter 28 uh, and uh, 16th and 17th, uh, they are told, uh, you will be the witness to me end of the uh, sphere, end of the earth. So go and preach the gospel and make them the disciples and you are make me uh, disciples. So world evangelism is our, that one evidence and uh, to the witness. So first of all, I applicable these all things. After only I'm able to follow, I am able to teach the children. So. Uh, at, at the time only, uh, we are able to prepare the children for the next generation. Thank you so much, given this wonderful opportunity, uh, Pastor Park. Thank you for forum, for Pastor Man and Pastor David. Can you forum with message? Pastor David Brainerd. I think she uh, she is not sure now. Uh, okay. Yes, brother, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, praise the Lord. Yeah. 
I heard the message that uh, what Satya Madam told. Uh, how to shape our children? Uh, she told a, a nice message that what what we need to ask and how to ask God that our children may grow in a spiritual way. It is a very blessed message. Thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you for following Pastor David. Thank and, you. Pastor Arjun, can you give forum to us with message? He, he cannot, uh, he can understand English, he cannot speak. Ah, okay. Uh, and <clears throat> how about Brother Sameh? Yeah, Hello, praise Lord, everyone. I praise the Lord. Uh, this is blessed time, and uh, I also heard the message that uh, Pastor Satya Daniel Kuris. Yeah, it was um, very much blessed. Actually, what I got the blessing through this message is, uh, is she said that we, our identity and the authority in Christ in God. So. Um, as he emphasized, yeah, she gave the most important that guidance of the Holy Spirit. We should lead our children and we should equip and train them, them that uh, how to depend on God and how to uh, live a life of guidance of the Holy, Holy Spirit. So, yeah, I'm so much blessed even though we are, I'm also missionary working here but it is very important for me also many times we work in our own ways but it is very important to hear the voice of god and uh, uh, work according the guidance of the holy spirit so it is blessing for me even i i, I really touch uh, by this message we take very casually for our children we really don't uh, that much think about the children to equip in the um, way of God. So it was taught to me also that I should uh, train my children also as well in the guidance of the yeah, way of God. So thank you so much. I am blessed and uh, thank you for this privilege and opportunity. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Summer. And Pastor Laju. Laju Sati Batula. Brother Razu, Brother Razu Sati Batula. Please uh, unmute it, unmute it. Okay, I think she is not here and 현진정사님 뭐 광고 특별할 거 있나요 지금? 어 광고 혹시 그 데이빗 목사님 아직 여기 계신가요? 네, 네. 아직 계세요. 제가 데이빗 목사님 적어놓은 정보들이 다 날라가 버려서. 그까지 Mr. David, can I ask some 
Uh, yes, yeah. yes, brother, yes, pastor. So when we to camp and what language, child, what language you use your child? Uh, ninth, five to six. Uh, okay. And what language that Lebanon should Tel use? Telugu, Telugu language. Uh, uh, can I ask your church site, like how many people are there? Children, madam. Uh, children and all members. Uh, my church members, twenty families. That means around uh, uh fifteen to twenty people. 15 to 20 people uh -huh. and two more uh, two places i am doing that two places also same like 15 to 20 people mm -hmm. so uh, Uh, like a Pastor Simon, like a Pastor David. The Satyang so Pastor David, 목사님은 그 다락방 하신지 아직 얼마 안 되신 거죠? 네, 얼마 안 됐어요. 네, 그러니까 우리 목사님 메시지 안 듣고 계신 거죠? 네, 보면 포럼할 때도 좀 아직 복음 각인이 안 돼가지고. 음. 그 다른 다락방 같은 거는 또 참여하고 계시나요? 어, 네, 하나, 네, 우리 텔레그. 음. 음. 네, 알겠습니다. 이 정도면 된것 같아요. 네, 감사합니다. So, Pastor Morgan, you wanted to say something? You raised your hand? Uh, just I want to share one prayer point. That is really today, what you were shared that is really useful in my ministry. By the grace of the God, uh, every Sunday uh, morning, we are teaching the uh, two years to 15 years children. Nearly 400 children are gathering there. So every Sunday, we are uh, sharing the gospel and we are encouraging in the uh, Bible stories and the songs, action songs, and many things. Uh, please pray for the we are feeling very happy when we are conducting the any testing or any test or we are asking any question after sharing the word of God. So the children are very actually they are sharing and giving the reply. So uh, today you are uh, shared this opportunity of how to we are mold the children and what we have to teach. Please pray for them. And not only that one evening, uh, uh, Sunday evening also we are uh, gathering the, with the, along with the 10 of people, nearly 150-200 people uh, children are gathering. Their age was the 13 years to 20 years, teenagers. We are 19 years, we are teaching them. So please uh, remember them also in your prayer. So really our shared word of God is, uh, that is the preparing for the next generation. Thank you so much. So Morgan Moksani, how do you want to camp? Do you want to camp? Do you want to camp? 아, 수요일 어, 오후 8시는 가능, 인도 시간 오후 8시는 가능할 것 같아요. Um, Pastor Morgan, uh, how about Wednesday um, 6 o'clock? Can we have a remnant day? 아, 아니, 아니, 아니. 인도 시간 8시요. 8 o'clock? Yeah, 8. 8 o'clock, then. Mm. So, Eight o'clock. That means oh, 그, 저희가... is it possible eight o'clock having a remnant uh, meeting at eight o'clock? Sure, sure, sure. Is it not late? No problem, no problem, no problem, Maka. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will uh, adjust my time and I will join. Uh, with the children. I mean, rem uh, remnant day. So with the children means that is the uh, children they are going. Uh, from the Monday to Saturday, they will go for the study hour. Mm, okay. Uh, ah, 7 o'clock, they are very How about 
actually 5 o'clock to 5:15 to night to 10 o'clock they will go for the their in hostel they I are going the evening study hour and after dinner they will continue till 10 o'clock so only weekend is free so saturday and sunday is free oh. uh, sunday is they are free so yeah, they are joining in the time uh, actually they are belongs to the hindi hindu background people i see we are uh, taking the permission from their hostel uh from their authority and we are uh, sharing the uh, word of god them i see i see so they are available in uh, sunday uh, sunday morning 8, 8 to 10 o'clock for the small kids and mm. uh, evening 5:30 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock at that mm. time we are requested the 